Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your star scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is my April melting basket. And I didn't do one in March because we were gone on our cruise. And I would also like to pick your brain on any other types of videos that maybe you guys would like to see quarterly or occasionally, maybe something like a scent trend. I just did one on lemon, which just seems to be coming out Scentsy's ears at the moment. Maybe we could do one in a couple of months if there is a particular note or type of scent that Scentsy does a whole lot of in the summer. I'm sure in the fall there might be one where we could do something on pumpkin and so on and so forth. And any other style of video that you would be interested in that I'm not thinking of, please leave me a comment down below. I like to do the traditional melting basket once a month because I have so many waxes that I forget about and I'm such a collector of things, but I know that sometimes doing the same old, same old over and over again can get a little bit old. So let me know on the consumer and entertainment end of it with you as the viewer, what you would like to hear from me more of in the future that I haven't thought of. So let's just dive right on in into my April melting basket, which has a wonderful mix of old and new things, some of them currently available, and some of them are just great bars that I've had in my stash for a long time. First off, we are going to look at Lemon Lime Fizz, which is a current bar in the Easter collection. This is a really, really nice scent that I just reviewed in the whole Loads of Lemon video that I did. And it's just a very happy, sort of soft, it has a little bit of sharpness, but not too much, slightly effervescent lemon. With a name like Lemon Lime Fizz, you would hope so. It is somewhat similar to something like your Wish Bar or a little bit like Lemon Verbena, but nowhere near as sharp, which we will get back for Bring Back My Bar. It's just kind of happily in the middle. It isn't my absolute favorite lemon because I like vanilla with my lemon, but this is one that I'm very excited to warm in the month of April where I think it will be just perfect and it's a beautiful smell. And I think if that comes back in fragrance flower, it's out of stock at the moment, I'm pretty sure still, I would like to pick one up. Now, another one of my dear friends who is also a Scentsy lady, she sent me a couple of whipped vanilla pear because she heard me lamenting in one of my what I've been warming videos that I was out and I hadn't put it in my club. So thank you very much to my friend. I will be enjoying this probably mostly in my bedroom or maybe a little bit of it in the Florida room. This wonderful bar she sent me to of whipped vanilla pear, which is very soft. And when I had this for bring back my bar in January, I didn't like it as much as I do now, but it's just beautiful. And this time of the year in April, I always think of like gentle spring scents, March is more clean and sharp. I usually reserve most of my fruity, which isn't my favorite category, but I'll do a lot of that for May. So in April, I wanted to do the light and lovely things that I will otherwise just overlook and not melt. Mandarin Zest was in our Valentine's collection a couple years ago, and this is very beautiful too. Or maybe it was Easter, but I'm pretty sure this was Valentine's. And this is also rather light. So I had it in my club just for a minute, but it doesn't perform well enough for me to have justified keeping it in there. But this is subtle and it's kind of creamy with a little bit of brightness and it's a really, really good bedroom or small space scent too. So those are my happy lemon and yellow bars. Next, I have good old Dumbo, which came back last year for an LTO. And this is so good. So this is more juicy. This has, I think, mangoes and oranges and vanilla. And it's kind of like you have vanilla, ice cream, and sherbet with all the fruits melting together in a cup. And it's just fabulous. Mm. So this is one I hope you guys clubbed when it was available. And I will be enjoying one of my few bars. I think I have five or six bars of that this month. Now, the next one I've got here is currently available in our catalog. And that is Yummy Strawberry Lemon Cake. And today, I happen to be melting mango shortcake. And if you really like mango shortcake, they're a little bit different, but similar enough that if you haven't tried the strawberry lemon cake yet, they could be sisters. This just has more of the roundness from the strawberry and sweet and brightness and tartness, just a tad from the lemon and all the buttercream. Whereas the mango shortcake, it starts out really buttery, almost like a shortcake biscuit and some whipped cream and fluffiness. And then the longer it goes, the more you get the juicy mango, which is also quite nice. So this one though is a winner and I really, really enjoy that. I'm really starting to crave that more than I thought this spring. So I have bought some extras in some orders. The next one I've got here is in our current garden collection. And this is so good. This is one of the three new bars that's in, I think our garden happiness or happiness in the garden uh, bundle. And there are also the ones that are repeats from last year with our Epcot collection. 
Glorious grapefruit. This is so good, you guys. If you're looking for the perfect grapefruit scent, this is definitely the one because it's got a little bit of orange, so it's not too bitter. It throws very well, but it's not overly aggressive. It's just right. So I think I'm going to be clubbing this probably in my quarterly. Now the next one might be my favorite bar in this particular melting basket. And this is one where if I ever see it and bring back my bar again, which it probably won't, it probably reclub it. I had it in my club for just a moment, got a stack in one or maybe two flash sales or clearance updates in the last couple years. And that is Spring Forward. I love this scent. It is so unique. I melted this on Easter just recently, just yesterday. And there is a sweetness, a loveliness that just reminds you of a garden with all the freshness of spring. It is so beautiful. So this I think has raspberry jam and quince and other sweet tart sharp notes that balance perfectly. It's not too much of anything and it's just one of those you gotta get your nose in to understand how good it is and that is definitely a real favorite of mine. The next one I've got here is the current scent of the month and that is Sunshine Mango. This along with your mandarin zest, your whipped vanilla pear, it's not super strong. But if you're scent sensitive and you want a fruity bar, this is absolutely beautiful. So I just need to either do this in my Florida room or a bedroom, or I can usually make a lighter scent work in the basement if I use a lot of cubes because that area just traps the scent pretty well. Oh, this is really happy. So I know it's got mango. I think it has a little bit of citrus and it's light and bright and just not too much. So if you're one of those people that's easily overwhelmed, that would be a great bar. Now next here, we have one really fruity juicy bar that I wanted to try, and this is Juicy Apple Raspberry. The Mixa collection is quite old. You really only see these popping up in flash sales or one random off here or there in clearance kind of availability. So it's what it says. This is a very straightforward scent because it was meant to mix with other things. It's got the apple and the raspberry. And it's just light and fruity. It's not too heavy. It leans more spring than summer for me. And I thought that it would be a good addition. And since it is a mixing bar, I might even do something like mix this with sunshine mango. We'll see. It's very good. So then I have a couple of blue bars and one of my favorites of all time, which again, I had in my club at one point just for a split second, is blue hyacinth. I've got a bar and a half left. I already talked to you guys about this, I think in my top 25, maybe. Oh, what an absolutely glorious bar, but I'm not going to melt very much of it. I would love to get a stack of four or five again if they ever put this available just as a single bar or it's in a decent bundle with florals that I don't hate. I would get more. That smells like a pot of hyacinths. It's absolutely stunning. So then next for some florals that are good for spring, Cinderella Happily Ever After retired just a little while ago. I know they'll bring this back again at some point. This is the most beautiful creamy gardenia, forget-me-nots and lemon. This is good anytime, but it's especially nice spring and early summer. Very ladylike and romantic bar. It is gorgeous, but not too strong. Strong enough, but not too strong. And then on the subtle side, pretty much just for a bedroom, Evening Sky is brand new. We just got this in our new spring summer catalog change at the beginning of March but this is growing on me so much. It's got the bergamot, it has the beautiful vanilla, it has just really nice, subtle, layered notes. It's just glorious. So then after that, I have some very nice green bars because it is April and it's the time of the year where you want something fruity and bright that also has a floral in it. And this A is for apple exactly hits that nail on the head. So this, along with a peeling apple, they are similar. This has a little bit more tartness from the green. This beautiful green apple is just like, it couldn't be better. I'm just gonna leave that in. I think the husband forgot I was filming. So, you know, trying to do these on a day where he was supposed to be at a commercial job all day long and that didn't work out. I still gotta film, this is real life, guys. Anyway, so the A is for apple. With its floral and its sharp green, just nice, juicy apple quality. Probably said that like three times because I'm trying to regroup my brain here. Is one that I wish I could get more of, but we typically only get this in flash sales here and there. So that is one I wanted to do this particular month. Now next we have one where I'm kind of sad that I did not club this back in the day. This is Mad for Melon and I think it's the prettiest honeydew scent we've ever produced has a good amount of floral. It's got that really juicy, watery, sweet melon, and it's just so nice for spring. 
I have another bar that I'm going to discuss that's in my uh, what I've been warming for the week and it's very very similar but I would even like that one more if I see that in another flash sale down the road I will get some but Mad for Melon throws very well it's happy and cheerful with those I think poppy florals that go with the melon it's been many years since we've had that so I don't remember the notes anymore next here I've got flower shop and this is so nice this is another one I took out of my club, but that's more just because I don't melt a lot of it. This smells to me so much like your traditional bouquet of red roses with the green tissue paper and the ferns and the baby's breath. And it's just a gorgeous springtime walking into the florist cooler kind of a scent. So next we've got Bamboo Yuzu. And this is a really happy citrus smell, but with the pineapple dragon fruit that we had last year, plus I've got cocoa lime, plus there are some others that have come down the pike that are kind of like it. I did pull this from my club. I've got three or four left. This is bright and it's green and it's sweet. And I don't really like sharp and green that much, but I love sweet and green with like a freshness. And this has that, so I'm looking forward to melting this. And then next after that is a new one. This is another new release and I love it. It's called Bamboo and Rainfall. And this, out of all our new releases, probably gets the Performance Boomer Award. This thing throws like a beast and it's a little bit more sharp than the Bamboo Yuzu, but not as sharp as what was the one we had before, Sunburst Bamboo. I did not like that. That one was way too much for me. This is right in the middle. So if you want something crisp and green and fresh, but it's not gonna be bitter, or at least to my type of a scent preference. This just is perfect. So I've really enjoyed this. I bought this in the scent circle. I've got quite a few products that I'm interested in in that. And another one from our garden collection, which is just so beautiful. The Garden Fresh Gardenia. I did not put Lush Gardenia in here because you guys have been hearing me talk about that a lot in the last couple weeks because I've just wanted to melt it. But this is current and lovely. So this has the creaminess of the gardenia, but it's tempered and balanced with just greens in a garden. There's not any one specific green note here, it's just greens. And it's very elegant, but in a more subdued way. If I had to choose between the two, because I really like that super hard hitting romantic floral that Gardenia is, I would prefer that, but this is a very good substitute if you don't have it. And if you do have both, melt them in alternate warmers. That is amazing, absolutely amazing. So next here in my, oh, I guess I did put this in here. I didn't think I did because I've been beating this drum so hard. <laughs> I made this basket a few days ago getting ready to, uh, to film it. This is just going to be one of those like real life baskets, guys. It's not going to be super smooth. Lush Gardenia is here, even though I just told you I probably had worn out my welcome with it, with you all. So this is super strong, heady floral, just like I said. And it's absolutely amazing. It's in my quarterly club and you only need a couple cubes here and there. So one bar will last just several days. Okay, next, now I went to a few like very good bakery scents or sweet and gourmand scents that I think spring when I see them. A long time ago, toasted marshmallow was actually in our Easter trio. And this has not showed up for anything in what, two or three years? But it's so good and it's in my club and I have swapped for some extras with friends. This is glorious, gooey, wonderful, malty marshmallow. It's very good mixed with something like around the campfire. It's good mixed with some other things, but that's my favorite. And it's so nice on its own. And I think that this could be melted any time of the year, but is very happy during the spring. The next one, I got this from a friend where I think her husband said, you may not melt any more of that ever. And so she had to give it to me instead. Amaretto. We just had this in one of our Bring Back My Bars and it is very strong. Greg doesn't like it much either, but I'll melt it when he's not home. Whew, this is really, really heady almond extract with honey. And then for me, it's got a little bit of a body care note rather than a edible note. But, oh, you guys, this is like marzipan on steroids. It's so good. But you have to be an almond addict to really like this. And I don't care for cherry almond pie, which is similar in some ways, but that's like too saccharine sweet. This one still has the honey, and it's, even though it's a lot, it's not too much of a lot, but that is a bar for only a few people. And the next one that I've got here is one of my just favorite spring summer bakeries, and that is churro churro, which is delicious. It's light with one of the few really successful kind of fried notes that Scentsy makes. So this was in BBMB last summer maybe? Tell me if you guys remember better than I do. 
and it is so delicious because it has a beautiful vanilla bakery note. No buttercream, just like baked vanilla, that wonderful fried thing going on, and then authentic cinnamon sugar. And it's like a medium, doesn't really get better than that, but it's enough in a room to be light and lovely and really addictive. And then last but not least, I thought I would do a couple of scents that are more fresh or laundry or woody because it is spring, but I don't do things like clean breeze or clothesline very well. They genuinely give me a headache. So I have to steer a little bit more woodsy with that type of scent. So white amber and silk is one of my favorites that I do consider a laundry smell, but it doesn't make me sick. So this has cotton, it's got white amber. It's got a little bit more sophistication rather than old fashioned laundry. And it is just absolutely fabulous. Now I have to say, even though we have a laundry line product that came out last fall called White Amber Antique, which is supposed to mimic the bar of White Amber Antique, I have got to tell you that I washed my coat in White Amber Antique laundry line and then went to women's ministry a couple weeks ago on a Tuesday. And I kept thinking, I didn't melt vanilla barn wood and then put my coat next to it, did I? And I asked myself that over and over again. And I'm also thinking it might've reminded me of white amber and silk, but there is something in the white amber antique laundry that is more like a combination of white amber and silk meets vanilla barn wood. So if you're scared of the bar white amber antique and you like white amber and silk and or vanilla barn wood, you might wanna try that laundry product that a lot of people have been freaked out about because they think it's gonna smell like men's cologne. It doesn't, it's beautiful. So that was a little bit of a digression, but White Amber and Silk for me is a good spring summer laundry scent. And then the last one here is kind of an unsung hero that nobody talks about. Woodland Meadow, I have been liking much better this late winter and early spring. I even, I think, ordered some more in my next um, just haul that's got a couple of things like the Woof Box, which we'll talk about in a separate video. Uh, but this is so good with kind of dainty cottony blossoms something that's sort of between woody and sagey, but not too fall, and just a nice clean colony wood smell. So those are all the things that I'm thinking about warming in April, specifically in my melting basket. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I would love to know ideas that you guys have for either specific videos or maybe video series that I could do in the next few months. The late spring, early summer season isn't as full of launches of new products and different things as the fall and the winter for obvious reasons, because there aren't as many specific holidays. They've got lots of things coming down the pike that'll keep me busy, but I would like to be more targeted in what you all are looking for on the channel if possible. So I would love it if you guys would leave me some comments and I hope you have a wonderful April and that spring has sprung for you, just like it has here for me where we're finally getting some real sunshine and some beautiful weather. Have a great day guys, God bless, bye-bye.